right, we asked you following the discussion and conversation that seeks to encourage us to keep hope alive, regardless of the things that we face. And uh, I want to draw your attention to a passage in the book of Colossians, chapter 1, uh, and you can read verse 16 and 17. But I will just capture the, to, to the tail end of this passage that says uh, that uh, everything that is, is in existence exists through him and for his purpose. Everything will change in your life. When you come to a situation in which you know you are not your own, but you belong to God, and that even your very existence, there is an agenda and a purpose that you will fulfill. I found a lot of joy in the last several Sundays as I've discussed the situation we find with Apostle Paul, and I've alluded to it in another conversation about how God, an angel of the Lord spoke to Paul and told him, don't be afraid because you must stand before Caesar. And, and, and the key thing is this, for you and I, the word of God is telling us all things exist through him and for his purpose. And you know that, you know, God, uh, God is eternal. And everything finds completion in him. We say in him we live and move and have our being. Therefore, when you realize this, then you know, regardless of what is going on around you, you have no reason to be afraid. Because there is a purpose why you are here. And that purpose that God has for you, he knows the time that you need to fulfill it. And it becomes now his responsibility as God, according to his mercy and grace, to preserve and to keep you, even as you are focused on fulfilling his will. I've said it many times, one of the greatest joy of my life is to celebrate the reality that God has given a promise that he will make a distinction between those who serve him and those who do not. And that distinction is what should become the basis of your excitement and your joy, even as you do what you do, even, even as you observe the things that are going around you, and you can be a hope giver yourself. But remember, you can only give what you have. If you are hopeless and in despondency, you can't give anybody hope. No, you can't. Remember the account we have uh, in the Word of God uh, regarding the, uh, the, the testimony of, of what, what, what we find Peter giving now, saying, that we don't have this, we don't have the other, but what we have we shall give you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. So the reality is that you can only give what you have. And that is why you need to have the hope so that when you Talk to your friends. You can be able to tell them, hey, listen, I know that uh, COVID is still messing up businesses, uh, jobs, and economy and all, but please keep holding firm because I promise, God has given us a promise and he will keep the promise he has given. Therefore, I encourage you today, hold firm to your faith. Don't give up because you exist to fulfill a purpose in God, and that purpose is secured in the God who will preserve you and keep you through everything that you face every day. May God bless you, may you encourage your, 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 your friends, may you encourage your family, may you encourage your congregation, encourage everyone because there is a purpose and a fulfill, uh, something we shall fulfill in our spiritual pilgrimage. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness. I want you to look upon you in hope and confidence that we have a God who reigns above all in Jesus' name. Amen.